It's UConn and the Butler Bulldogs here at the XL Center. UConn at the stretch of games, they have struggled mightily. Now they got to stop the skid somewhere, and this would be a good day to do it. It had been a tough stretch of a schedule, and um, you know, with the staff getting COVID and missing time and losing kind of at the buzzer at Seton Hall, we really needed a win badly. Haas is the hype guy. He always brings us together, always gives us a good speech before the game, gets us hyped up. I mean, it means a lot. It means the world to us. I just want to bring energy to the team, even when I'm not on the court. I want to bring something else to the team. Giving guys encouragement, you know, high fives, you know, tell them, yo, you're, you're a good player. Go out there and show it. It's not turn Stop and go move by Tristan. Lays it in. Under on the baseline. Can't get it off. And a shot blocked by Sonogo. Oh, they get it to Diara. He comes up 13-8. Klingon trying to power it inside. Spins, hangs, lays it in. Taylor pick and roll. Jackson intercepts. Klingon, Klingon with the ball over his head. Backdoor cut caravan. Reverses it home. The two freshmen. Timeout. And the Huskies have brought some energy to the building and opened up a double-digit lead, 24-13. Blocked by Diarra, and Caravan saves it. Step back three, Hawk. Got it! Samson Johnson going to get a chance to play some basketball. And that is Joey Calcaterra's 1,000th career point. UConn comes back home and gets a 30-point victory. Xavier's coming to Campbell Pavilion on Wednesday, and they are the league leaders right now on top of the Big East standings. Thirty-nine to twenty-four, Xavier. UConn's got a lot of work to do at halftime. Obviously, the group was disappointed and a little stunned, to be honest with you. And I think your your message at halftime was just go win every four-minute war in the second half. You know, go win each war by you know, a couple points, and late in the game we'll find ourselves back in it. Here's Sonogo spinning right, double team gets to Jackson, drives inside, lays it in. 42-28, Xavier. Caravan between the rings, starts to his right hands to Jordan Hawkins. Three-pointer, good. Keep up the full-court pressure. Hawkins stop and go move. Sonogo for three, and he hits. UConn's made two threes now. 12-point game, long way to go. Jackson on the right to Newton. Newton curls left to Caravan, turns and fires a three. Caravan! Bang! Give it up to Colby Jones, and he stepped on the sideline, and that's a turnover. Jordan Hawkins limps up the court. I don't know if he's okay or not. Timeout. You come back in it. Eight-point game. Long way to go. Plenty of game. Jordan Hawkins is a very, very tough guy, mentally, physically. With his reputation growing as a talented young player, these other teams are really, really gunning for him, and they're really physical with him, and he's you know, learning what it's like to go from, you know, an important player on the team to number one guy on the other team's scouting report. Jackson pulls, gets back to Hawkins, long three. Good! Oh, oh. UConn fans are ready to explode in here. Gives it up to Sonogo, dribble penetration on Nunji. Kicks it back to Hawkins, who sets and fires. Hawkins, good. It's a three ball! It's a triple, baby! 56-54, two-point game. And a timeout. And Dan Hurley's got this place rocking. And Hawkins has brought a game, an A game, here in the second half.
he was just unconscious, I would, I would say, you know, he's so dynamic, constantly moving, his, his ability to make shots is nothing I've seen before, nothing I've played with in college since my three years, so he, he's truly, truly, truly a great player. The Hawkins into the paint, Hawkins up fake, puts it up, in! Oh, ho, ho! he was in traffic, someone clipped him, he put it in, Hawkins got a huge smile on his face. I don't know how it went in. He was in a massive traffic. He's got 25 to 27 points in the second half. Yeah, we lost that game by three. Some things we took from the second half that we just had to do for the rest of the season. A lot of teams would have folded and just accepted a 15, 18 point loss, but you know, proud of, I guess, the fight, but definitely no moral victory. Welcome to the Windy City, Chicago, Illinois for Big East basketball tonight. The Huskies visit the DePaul Blue Demons. They might have been struggling this year, having lost three straight since that time, but this team has the ability to beat some of the better teams in the league. Can UConn take them out of their game tonight? They're 3-3 three and three on their home floor in the Big East, so they are obviously a dangerous opponent for UConn. Yeah, DePaul was next, and it was a chance for us to get an important win to put the Xavier game behind us and you know, start to rebuild the, the psyche and the confidence of the group. And, Obviously, to have 20 points or more from three different players, two guards, and, and a big guy, um, you know, generally that's going to be enough. Matchup at another number 11, Caravan drives inside. Caravan got a piece, and he deflected it loose. Jackson ahead to Sonoma with a great pass and a great catch for two. It's to Paul with it, and a steal by Newton. Newton on a run up. He goes in to put it up, and he made it! What a shot! Acrobatic! Caravan fires over the defense to Hawkins. Into the pants, and he lands again. Newcomb's last two field goals are drives from 15 feet out by Sonogo. Wins it to Newton, who drives to the paint. He gets hit, puts it up and in! Oh, baby, that was sweet by Tristan Newton. Newton steps behind the three-point arc and launches, and he hits on the baseline. Wow, some trickery from Tristan Newton. Newton sprints to the front court. Gives to Hawkins, fakes, drives inside, and scoops it home. Superman has emerged. Long, flinging saves. Aline has it. And there's an exclamation point for you by Jordan Hawkins. UConn wins it 90 to 76. They get their 17th win of the season. They go to 17 and 6. So the rest of the season, we have a bunch of rematches, teams we faced before. I mean, it's always hard to beat a team twice, so I'm definitely looking forward to the teams that, uh, that beat us the first time. I think the team that you know, makes the, the, the best subtle adjustments that uses that first game to learn and, and get better, uh, which team is, is, is kind of you know, fresher and in a better mental state this time of year. It's all about confidence and, and belief and, and mental toughness because as you get into February, you know, the, these Big East games especially, they don't always resemble basketball. They sometimes feel like uh, a boxing or UFC. Left, right, left, and step by step we'll move until the dawn, yeah, we keep marching on, we're gonna keep on, we're gonna keep on, we keep marching on.